Going for a walk, look at that. That's home. Pretty nice, eh, Willem? It is. Yes, it's beautiful snow. Well, that's all I wanted to come up here for. Now we can go for a walk down. Ooh. Negative five, it's not too cold. Good day for... Remember when the kids used to go sledding down this hill? Yeah. They'd go down it on downhill skis. And they crash into things at the bottom. Excuse me? I don't think they ever landed in the stream. No, they didn't. Good morning, I missed you. Okay, want to see where we're driving? It's very pretty again now that we've had more snow. Nemo is the name that they gave this storm. Isn't that pretty, pretty, pretty? Boy, the roads are really bumpy. These roads are pretty new too. But they're bumpy because of the, the heaving. Up and down goes with the frost. My window is all frozen up. I made you a little footprint. You probably can't see it though because you can only see part of it. I'll unfrost the window. Ooh, so what have you done since I talked to you last? Huh? Been busy? Making breakfast for the kiddos? You know, I was watching one of my videos. One about the dirty dishes and putting the dirty dishes in the laundry basket under the table. It was a great plan. I thought it was awesome. Because, you see, then I had room to clean the kitchen, and then I could pull them out and clean them too. I thought that was a wonderful plan. I got a lot of thumbs down for that video, though. Like, ten thumbs down. But I guess the half of the world that is not organized didn't watch that and thumbs up it. Oh well. C'est la vie. Es la vida. It's a sunny day. It was a sunny day. How many songs do you know about sunshine? There's the one that Diane told me. Um, sun arise, she come in the morning. Sun arise, she come in the morning. Spreading all her skirts all around. Sun arise, she come with the dawning. Sun arise, she come with the dawning. Spreading all the light all around. Sun arise. Sun arise, lighting all the hollows. Filling all the hollows. Sun arise, filling all the hollows. Lighting up the hills and in the distance. So <laughs> I don't think it was the original word. Sun arise, she come in the dawning. Sun arise, she come every day. Sun arise, every, 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 every day. She drive away the dark. Every day she drive away the darkness, bringing back the warmth to the ground. Sun arise, she come with the morning. Sun arise, she come every day. Sun arise, every, 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 every day. I like that song. Okay, so that's one sun sign song. Now that one is who, who wrote that song? Rolf Harris. Rolf okay. Harris, you must know him, Selene. And dear, what did you say? That's it. Yes, indeed. I don't sing like he does. He sings with his ditch. Abe has a didgeridoo. He has two of them, actually. 
Okay, and then there's the one about so let the sun shine in, face it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Let the sun shine in, face it with a grin. Smilers never lose and frowners never win. So let the sun shine in, face it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. That is also not the right words. But we don't care about that. Okay, time for the heat to go down. I'm cooking. <coughs> so, um, another song about the sunshine is... What's another sunshine song? Um... He's tried you are to, my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. And then there was one by the... Um, what was it called? Let the sun shine. Let the sun shine. Sunniest suns in the world. Sunniest suns. That sun is shining right in my face. But it's good for you if you have SAD. Do you know that SAD is seasonal affective disorder? That's right. And if you have seasonal affective disorder, that means that if you don't get some sunshine, you're going to get sad. That's why it's called sad. SAD, seasonal affective disorder. Sad. And so all you have to do is let that sun into your face. Let it in your eyes. I don't think there's much of that going on down there in the south, but up in the north, imagine it in Alaska. Ooh. Oh, at least we get sunshine for a big chunk of the day, but we're not that far north. We're just between the Great Lakes. Well, we're up above the Ontario, but we're not above Superior or Huron. Huron, yes we are. We're above Lake Huron, aren't we? Huron. Huron. Huron Carol. Do you know that one? The Huron Carol? How's that go? I don't remember. What? You have to remember these things. These are very important details. I know the one about the ivy and the holly. That's all the same one, is it? No. I'm getting hot. It's negative 25 outside. What does it say on your thing? Minus 18. Now it's minus 18. That's because we're in the sunshine. Ooh, ooh, it gets hot at minus 18. I'm going to open the window, Willem. Turn down the heat some more. There. We will just turn down the heat. And then we'll be fine. Okay, so I guess as I've told you, everything I know, my head is completely empty. Little wind in the attic. A few bales short of a load. A few no. bricks short of a load. What? That's in the belfry. That's in the belfry. One uh, uh, missing one wheel off the wagon. One stick short of a bundle. Crazy. All right, well, I can't see you, so I might as well say goodbye. Goodbye! You can do this at home. Yes, you can. You can sing all these songs. Pick a topic and just sing them. You can be the sunshine on the dreary day. If you happen to be having a dreary day today, which you might be because not everybody's having sunshine today. We are, because we are special. Yesterday we weren't special. We were getting snowed upon by Nemo. I like having names for these snowstorms. It's 
almost like they think they own the storm by naming it. Canada doesn't name the storms and they don't they don't use the names that are given by the guys down there. I do I think it's a good idea. Alright, well, I've talked your ear off long enough. I know you have other things to do. Goodbye. Well, this is the stream today. Last night it was negative 20. Look at how, how much is frozen over the bottom. At sides. But it's negative 2 right now. Can you zoom in on those little patches of frost? I can't with this camera. I think there's needles of ice there. I, I, had, I had one, they photographed one. They're really, really needle-like crystals. And I never was able to see it again. Here, what's about on your side? Can you come up a little more? Here. Can you open your window? So many layers. Mm-hmm. The water comes up, the water goes down. Ice is higher, ice is lower. Such a beautiful spot to be. Mm -hmm. We're so pleasant. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's today's daily dose. Can we make it up the hill? Of course we can. Good morning. It's a new day. The sun is not going to rise today. We will not be having a dark sucker. So we are going to have a wintry mix. Today we have, first of all, it's snowing now. A little tiny bit. And the snow is going to be coupled with ice pellets. And after the ice pellets will come freezing rain and then rain. Perhaps more snow after that. Who knows? Anyway, that's the forecast. Want to look outside? Oh, what's with this bright thing? It's not a bright day. It's a cloudy day. <sighs> I don't understand why it does that. Maybe you just have to look at it for a while. Go ahead, look. Just keep looking. No, you can see maybe it's just snowing so hard. All you see is snow on the ground. You can barely see the trees and snow up above. That must be what it is. Snow everywhere. Hmm. Well, this is working out very well. Not, not. Some of these phrases, they go around and round. And... So you can't even see all those trees. I can, but you can't. I thought this was going to be a very nice little video. All those nice trees and the little bits of snow. But no, I was wrong. It's just a crappy old video. The camera's not working on but one thing is good about my little camera it'll upload right away that's right it doesn't take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to order alrighty I'm trying to get through these <sighs> Niagara Falls videos you see what happened was I went to visit I was in Georgia I went I had Thanksgiving at home you remember that with Daniel and we were making pies and then, hey, am I as bright too? No, I'm okay. So I was making pies and stuff. We have Thanksgiving, and then I went down to Georgia. And I spun with my mom in the yard. I planted pansies, and I went kayaking. Then I went back north to visit with Willem. Went as far as Palmyra Temple. But then I had to cross the border. So after that, I went to um, Niagara Falls. Hi, Willem. Hi, I'm on the camera. Oh. Well, just keep the camera I won't me. look at you. 
You're not. You're. You can be careful. The cameras that look at me and look fully dressed. Oh my gosh! Yes, we won't know. even talk about it, Willem. So then I went to Niagara Falls, and it was dark, and I had to cross the border and then come back out. And I bought a mug to prove I was in Canada. <sighs> anyway, so I'm trying to get these videos uploaded, but I keep uploading these quickies, these instant ones. And I have uploaded, what is it, 90 quickie videos in February already? Is that it? 90? Anyway, it's a lot of them. Maybe it's not 90. Maybe it is. Who knows? You can count them. Alright, well, so it's snowing out there. You'll never know. I'm not really so much. Ooh, it's not even coming down like paper confetti. Just a little tiny bit. It's coming down like like um, the white ash from the wood stove when you stir the ashes and they all go up in the air and then they come down no wait they come down in more like that especially if there's sunshine shining through well Deb I don't know what you mean about watching the sunrise this morning ain't no sun out there ain't no sunshine till um anyway okay ta-ta we'll see you later well, good morning. It's Nancy today. I like saying that. It makes me smile. And then when I see my face on here smiling, then I feel happy. I didn't feel like making a video. I was kind of... But now, now that I'm looking at it and smiling, I feel so much better. I think raising your arms makes you feel better, too. Let me just try that. Oh, yes. Hey, hey, that's my turtle. See that turtle there? It's a lantern. You put a candle in it. These other things there are mugs from trips. And those are baskets. Well, those are baskets. Those are gourds. at how young I look now. Oh, this is much better. Yes. Never take movies down here. Never. Well, good morning. Now I feel good. <laughs> I didn't start out feeling too good. I guess my back is just not in a happy place today. And I have to use my walker to push myself to stand up straight. And that sort of limits where I'm going to go. I have this great idea of going for a walk. But, I don't know, I also have this fear of getting cold. Actually, this fear of getting stuck somewhere. when my back doesn't feel very good. I could drive my car. <sighs> but then I'm not walking. <laughs> I want to go down to my teepee. That's what I want to do. I want to lie in my teepee. I lie in my hammock in my teepee and watch the weather. It's windy and it's above freezing, which is just above freezing, which means it's kind of raw. I don't like it out there when it's too raw. And it's kind of a dreary morning. If you look out there at that cloud stuff, it's not snowing, but it's not sunning. And so it's sort of what's it doing about well, it's windy I want to do some more potting today but that means I'm gonna have to actually get up the best thing to do is get up and walk around the house and swing my arms sometimes if I sit here for a few minutes it makes me <sighs> feel ready for the day I've been cleaning then Willem got cleaning <laughs> And this is what the couch looks like now that he's cleaning. And this is what my little table here looks like now that I've been cleaning. Oh, and these shoes from the dump fit. They're good shoes, but they don't fit with socks on. They remind me of Selene. I think Selene's were pink. She left them with me when she went to Australia. 
or wherever she was headed after she was here. No, I think she went south. So what are you going to do today? Have you got an idea yet? Have you, how do you have a plan? <clears throat> yes, the plan for the day. Oh, you want to know something? You know, when I brought those Christmas trees home, one of them was very tight together, you know, like it had been um, tied. After the snow sat on it, look, it's kind of opened up a bit. Oh, look, at there's a woodpecker. Hey, he's doing the woodpecker thing. You see my butterflies in the window? Butterflies in glass. Those were dead butterflies. I picked up on the side of the road. People ask me on these videos where I'm decorating with butterflies. Oh, you killed all these butterflies. I would not kill a butterfly. Not likely. I think they look pretty. I think the rest, I should just close the curtains. Close the curtains. Turn on lots of lights and enjoy the day inside. I watched a really good pottery video this morning. Somebody from Stamford, Connecticut was teaching how to do it. <laughs> I like looking at myself better when I look like I used to look before everything sagged. Oh, vanity, vanity, vanity. I said my prayers. You did. I think I read the scriptures yet. I should do that. Oh dear. Well, I guess I don't know what's on the agenda yet. I guess I won't know until I start the day. But yesterday I did clean the weaving room. And so I started to thread my other warp on my grandmother's loom. I like having several different things to do at once so that I don't have to do the same thing if I'm getting kind of tired of it. You know? Yeah, I look so young with my... Okay, well, see what you can do. You can do this at home. Results may vary. It's not results may vary, it's results may differ. Results may differ. You can try this at home. If at first you don't succeed, destroy all evidence you tried. Oh, I have a new joke. I love the new joke. It's not mine. I, I lifted it from somewhere on Facebook, I think. Okay, a duck is about to cross the road. And what does the chicken say to the duck that's about to cross the road? Don't do it, man. You'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> Ta -da. Well, I'm going to try and go down here to my teepee. It's kind of a big walk down there now. It's a little bit steep. In this other one today, so I won't get wet. <laughs> nice and dry, just like it should be. Here we are, in the teepee again. I need my mittens on. It's 
plus one, which is much, much colder than when it's negative 20 or negative 10. Ha! have my little fingerless mittens. Did somebody give these to me? Which of you gave these to me? I can't remember. I feel so bad about that. Somebody made them and they gave them to me. I don't think I got them at the dump. I guess I could go back and look at all the dump videos. I don't think so. I think somebody made them out of their scraps. Now I'm warm. Sort of. I have my hat, my hood. So you people that think it's really cold here because we get really cold temperatures, it's not as cold as it is when it's just near freezing and damp. There. Now we're all ready. We'll lie down in the hammock. And stretch our bodies out. Ah, oh, much better. Nothing like a hammock. Willem would like it if we cut this crappy stuff away. I could do that. So I put up the little mailbox I have to show it to you later. I made a, I made two holes in this little tiny mailbox and then I screwed it onto the bottom shelf underneath our mailbox. It's adorable. Boy, there's a lot of traffic going to town, I guess. It must be later than it was before. <laughs> Duh. I don't know what time it is, though. Maybe it's 8.30. Maybe it's 9. Got up at 7.30, so... It's usually early morning. This is the rush hour traffic. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, we're coming to you today from Sedge Meadow Teepee. I really miss my hammock over there. Hey, I wonder if I could hang it from that pole way over there. Now that one's got charred. It's, it's got burned pretty badly. I'm going to I'm going to willow the top. I'll make a basket out of it. I think I can do that. Not a problem. I'll leave a hole, a little smoke hole. I have some really big willow I could use for the bottoms. I could do that, you know. It is a thought. They're all thoughts. But you wait long enough and they go away. All right, well, coming to you today from right here. I'm glad I came down here. I didn't want to. I sat in the car and I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't think I. But you know, when you do something, you really kind of don't want to do it, like go outside to be outside or somewhere. You have a memory. Like now I have a memory of this. At this stage, this temperature, I have this memory. I have memories of this place, many memories, at many stages of weather. Which is a good thing. Many views. See we have the, the grass in here blowing in the breeze slightly. We 
have the snow, which kept its shape really well after my walk down here. It was blue on the other day, actually. And the ice in here is still frozen. It's not water, which is very important. Since these are not waterproof boots, see the tops of them now? They didn't like that. Another car. My, ha my car hasn't been down here very much lately. So people wonder about this teepee. But when my car is there, they know that somebody's here. Somebody lives here. Used to have the door on the other side, and I would look out the door. Stand there in the doorway with my hat on. Home, home on the range. Kind of a nice place here. But you couldn't live in here. You would freeze solid. You would become a brick. Ergonom, ergonom, erg. Economics? Is that what it is when you freeze your body? Quick freeze. But how come people die and they don't revive them and they freeze solid out there in the wilderness? Out in the white wilderness. I did something today. I had a little tiny project and I did it and it makes a difference. My little mailbox thing. I think it's important to make cute things here and there. It just adds to the world. It makes people smile. You never have too many smiles. All right, well, this is going to be too long, and then you won't get to see it, and then you won't smile. Bye. Good afternoon. No, good morning. Uh, I guess it's 8.30. <laughs> so it's not afternoon yet at all. It just seems like it. Um, I was thinking about pain and there's you know like so many people experience so much pain some experience it their whole lives some experience it the whole time they've got children other people it waits until after your children are grown and then you get lots of pain the aging stuff I was thinking about that and the Lord's plan the way things work you know, like we have to experience pain so we know the wonderful feeling of not having pain. So we, we appreciate our health only after we have lost our health. Somebody was saying to me about their son or grandson, he said, well, he has his health so he can do whatever he wants. And I thought that was a, a strange phrase. I'd never heard it before and I thought about it and it's true. If you've got your health, you can do anything you want. Do whatever you want. I mean, you're limited by finances and different things, but you have opportunities, so you could make things work. But without your help, you can't. And as I was trying to drive and my leg wasn't working, I thought, if I'm losing my ability to drive, I can't go to Georgia. I can't drive to the temple all the time. I'm just, I'm going to be, um, a lot more limited. Of course, we save on gas. But um, I thought about pain, and I thought this really hurts. This hurts a lot. And I thought about my friend uh, Ford, who had bone cancer, and he was in agony for a few years. I'm not sure how many, five, ten, not sure, but he was in agony. 
was thinking, well, you know, Ford used to wonder why he had so much pain, why it couldn't just stop. He now knew how bad pain was. That's it. Thank you very much. I'm done. But no, much, no matter how much pain we can suffer, we can never suffer as much as the Savior's pain when he suffered for our sins. And he bled it every four. We can never suffer that much. And so whatever pain we do have, it's less than the pain he had, even for us. I mean, he felt all of our pain and all of our sins and sorrows, all that stuff. If, even for me, if he already felt mine, plus he felt everybody else's. So, you know, that's a lot of pain.
statement. So, thou art not yet as Job. And I do have pain pills. I don't think Job had pain pills. I don't think there was pharmaceuticals back then. I do appreciate my pain pills. All right, well, this is Nancy today signing out. Those are my opinions on the matter of pain. Hey, ta-ta. Well, good morning. Actually, it's not morning at all, is it? See, it's dark outside. I could pretend it's morning. Oh, you're up early. It's quarter up, 20 after 8. But actually, if you're up early, that would be 20 to 4. <laughs> you never know. Depends what time you're watching this, too. Are you awake at night in the bed with it? You know what I've been doing? I've been taking my iPod to bed and see I've got my neck tilted right up. See how young I look? This is great. <laughs> no flab up there at all. No flab. Anyway, I've been taking my iPod to bed and I stick it under my pillow <clears throat> at night when I'm sleeping. And then in the middle of the night when I happen to wake up, I pull my little iPod out and I click on it. And sure enough, some of the people have been talking to one another on the Facebook stuff. And so I read those, and I might click the likes, and I might even comment. It's very convenient, and it's got a t it's so tiny. It's got a little tiny amount of light, so um, it doesn't wake up Willem. And if I really think I might wake him up, I just pull the covers over my head, and I do it all under the covers. Nobody, because I feel like I'm a little kid in bed with the flashlight. Do you know I do that, Willem? Um, yeah. You do. Well, yeah. But you're sleeping. Well, okay, I like. <laughs> ah, a sin. My perfect husband sinned. <laughs> well, that's once this week. <laughs> now at least I'll have something to repent for. Do you like my hair like this? See these little things that are holding it? See that? I don't know if you could tell. It's one of those little spiral wires. They're spiraled together and you just sort of screw it down and it holds your hair where you want it. And they're not very big, so it's not even as bad as sleeping with curlers on. Have you ever slept with curlers on? Did you ever do that? I used to have these big round curlers. And I would roll my hair at night. One, two, one, two, three four, no, I used to start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. The bottom one was a little smaller. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen curlers is what it took. And then my hair would have this big curls. It was really nice. That was when I cared. I was probably in grade seven. <laughs> you know, wearing stockings and makeup, making yourself look just so, hoping that the right fellow would look at you. But if you did, you didn't have a clue what to do about it. <laughs> anyway, now that I'm happily married, I don't need to worry about all that. Right, Willem? You can let yourself go completely, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You look nice all the time. Isn't he sweet? Mm. He's my sweetie. So Daniel got back today. Daniel flew home from Germany. He did. He flew all the way with his arms flapping wide. His 14 hours it took him to fly, and so his arms are very tired. And so now he's tired. But I went to the airport. I went over to the airport. And I was there, and already Ben and Tess were there, and it was just nice to go see my Daniel. He said, oh my gosh, your hair is so long. What does hair grow? Uh, half an inch a month? So I don't know how long it was last time I saw him. Well, I saw him four months ago, I guess, on October when we had Thanksgiving here. And he made those pies. 
So, I hope you've had a lovely day. Some days are lovelier than other days. Some days you just feel like, you know, something the cat's been dragging around. Should have left outside. What was that? But, make a video and it'll make you smile. Oh, oh. oh look, there's Mal Kitty. I put the camera on him again today. You want to say hi to everybody? Just look at everybody. Well, there's Mal Kitty. I put the camera on him, and out he went. And now I have the top of my camera part broke when I opened it up. It wasn't really his fault. I can pretend it was. That's a good idea. Always pretend it's somebody else's fault. Right, Willem? No comment. No comment. We don't actually place blame in our home. We just take it from where it is. Right, dear? No comment on that one either. <laughs> <laughs> he's very busy. You can see he's working hard. So I drove all the way into Ottawa, went to the airport, and saw my son, let him drive my car, and drive my car, da 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 da. Anyway, I let him drive my car. Ugh. I was scared to death, holding onto the handle overhead, trying not to go. I didn't say a thing. I was very good. You would have been proud of me, Willem. Okay. No parallel driving. You see, it's not backseat driving if I'm in the front. If I'm in the front, in the situation room, I have to make my hair look good but not be too hot. So I'm getting, getting hot talking to you. I must be having a power surge. It's only negative 22 outside. No, it's not. It's negative 12. I lied. <gasps> I lied, too. I, I'm picking up Willem's habits. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I played the violin. I came home and I was feeling a little down in the mouth. And I pulled out, I got Willem to hand me my violin. I could say I pulled it out, but I had to have him hand it to me first because I was too lazy to go over there and get it. And I played it. I could play all these pretty hymns that I really like. And it was so nice to just entertain myself, to have this beautiful violin music. Abraham tuned my violin. Yes, he did sounds totally different. It sounds like I know what I'm doing. It really boosts my level of accomplishment. You should try that at home. You know, I didn't know how to play the violin. I never played the violin. But you know, all the time my kids have been growing up, I didn't put them in soccer or Tai Chi or any of these things that they wanted to do. Not Tai Chi, Kung Fu or I don't know, whatever was going. There were all these things that they wanted to do, and I never put them in any of that stuff. I put them in, I bought instruments. So I bought a violin. It was 150 bucks. So I bought a violin. I bought clarinets. I bought trumpet. Bought lots of instruments. Acoustic guitars, electric guitars. One of those long skinny things, a didgeridoo. Anyway, and so my kids played the instruments. They were all kind of musical. We already had a piano and a piano player. He's over there. That's the piano player. We'll call him the resident piano player. Okay, Willem? Is that a good title for you? Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Keep that neck up. There, look how young I am. I must be 14. Oh, you want to see my putts? They got really small after I trimmed them. I don't know what that's about. Oh, and today Willem and I cleaned out the woodshed. That's right, we cleaned out all that crap. You saw when the cat went out there and looked around and sat, and it was really, really a mess. We cleaned the whole thing out, stacked the wood up properly, 
threw out trash and recyclables and put away all the bits and things that just get set there because I didn't feel like figuring out where they should go. So now it's very tidy. The green freezer has nothing on it or around it. The kiln has nothing on it or around it. So I could actually fire these. You're fired! It was easy. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. I guess we've been talking a long time. Ten minutes is about all we can handle, isn't it? Some things are better left undone. Unsun. Well, this is Nancy today coming to you from the couch in the Situation Room with the Mao Kitty. Hey, did you ever see my buttons on my sweater? Did I ever show you? I must have showed you these. I must have even showed you how to make them. But it's getting to be so long ago that I did all these things that you can't even remember. And then there's all these people that never saw it, were never around. These are antler buttons. You know, they talk about making rustic deep fried stick buttons. Well, I made my own antler buttons before it was cool at Mira. Don't they be beautiful? I couldn't wait for the buttons to fall off so I could replace them with these antlers. Let me see if I can lay this out properly. This is, this is a very nice sweater. It's very dirty. It's dirty very quickly. There's the buttons. Oh, button, button, button. Which hand has the button? One button, two button, three button, four, five button, six button, seven button, no more. I like that button. Anyway, we're upside down there. Okay, well, this is, this is it. This is all you get. I got donuts in the car if you need them later, though. It's our secret. Don't tell Willem. He doesn't care. Okay, well, I said goodbye. Didn't I say it? If you're going to put your head down, you have to cover your neck. Not your neck. I, my head looks... My face is very different shape when I have my head down. Well, goodbye. I'm coming to you from Canada, way up in Canada. You're probably coming through to me from Iceland. Somebody from Romania joined up today. See you later. Good morning. It's Nancy today. How's everything? It's a sunny day out today. It's negative 16 Celsius, which is, hmm, maybe two or three. Fahrenheit? I don't know. doesn't matter. It's nice out. It's cold and crisp and clear and the sun is shining. When it's really cold, the clouds go away. Actually, it's probably because of the clouds going away that it is really cold because the clouds insulate the earth. They hold the heat in. But when the clouds dissipate, disappear, when the convention is over, when all the clouds that have been here all year long. Every day there's some clouds. Well, in the winter time, they have this great reunion and all the clouds who have come and gone throughout the year come back and they have a reunion and they have a wonderful time blocking the sun from us while they're enjoying it themselves. Oh, well, we're just in their shadow. You can just imagine the fun they're having. It just makes us smile just to think of the fun they're having with their reunion. But then when the reunion's over, or when they're, you know, having a break, or they're all gone to visit somewhere else, the sun comes out, and all of our heat goes away. So we get these beautiful, cold, cold days, but they're so sunny, and in our house, which is all windows on the southeast side, the sun just comes in and warms the whole house up, makes it really nice. You can let the fire go out on these bitterly cold days. It's amazing how that works. Anyway, <coughs> so we have one of those days. Isn't that nice? It's very pretty out there. My car windows are very dirty on account of our vacation that we took on Friday when we were going to Montreal but we didn't get all the way there. Remember that when I found out that the temple was closed? 
such thing that I didn't look up earlier. Alas, it's <sighs> being human and flawed. Such a challenge, don't you find? Making mistakes becomes so simple. I make lots of mistakes. But the best thing to remember when you make mistakes is if at first you don't succeed, destroy all evidence you tried. Oh, guess what happened? <clears throat> Abraham's been home for a couple days. Well, he's over at his friends now, but he's sort of home. Now you can't see my face. I'll have to let you see my face. Maybe I'll put on these yellow sunglasses. These yellow sunglasses are interesting. They're not the same as my rose-colored glasses, but they do work well. I like I like the world rose-colored better than yellow. Anyway, so Abraham came home. It's still too sunny. It's still too bright in my eyes. I'll have to put on my other ones. So um, Abraham came home, and he, I played the violin a little bit, and he says, Oh my gosh, you got to tune that. And I said, Oh, I'll put him tune it. I'll break the strings. I always break the strings when I tune my guitar. So he tuned it. Oh my gosh. Oh my fairy godmother. Can he tune a guitar, a violin? And it sounds so incredible. Now these are cloudy. Okay, you're going to have to just forget about being able to see me. So I got my blindfold on so that the sun isn't in my face. Okay, so what I was saying before I interrupted myself several times. I'll go back to the beginning and watch this so I know what I am not re remembering to tell you. Okay, so um, he tuned my violin and it sounds so amazing. And it's, I just want to play it. I just want to play it. I was, I was feeling sad yesterday. Yes, indeed. And I came home and I was feeling sad and sorry for myself and so I took out my violin because sometimes hymns make me feel better. And so I started playing these hymns on my violin and they were so beautiful. And I found that I could play all these very difficult pieces that I can't play with the music because I can't figure out the notes that fast. But I could do it by ear. It was so nice. I was just, and Willem, Willem liked it. He complimented me. Now to get a compliment from Willem with music is really hard. Willem is a wonderful, wonderful person, but he's very sparing with his music compliments. Actually, he's just honest. He's very honest. They say, did you miss me? And he'll say, uh, no. But when I go to Georgia and I ask that, he says yes. But anyway, if I ask him when he goes to work, did you miss me? Um, yeah, I think I did once. <laughs> Something. Most of the time he says no. But anyway, so with my music, he also does not just make up compliments or find things to compliment about. He only compliments when something stands out to him like, wow, that's good. Well, he said that to me. So I'm, I was torn this morning. I have time to go to church, but... I wanted to play my violin. I wanted to take it with me. Just have to forbear. Forbear. Is that a word? Forbore. I forbore. I, I will forbear. So yesterday I forbore. I don't know. We'll have to look that up. Will you Google that for me, please? I can't Google it. I'm driving. Speaking of Google it, Facebook not Facebook. I, I have an iPod. No phone. I don't want a phone on my iPod. But I don't want to have to pay every month for my iPod. So I have an iPod which I bought right out. Right. What is it? $1.99 or something like that. So I have my iPod and I can upload videos to YouTube on it. And I can go to YouTube on it. There was a little app, a YouTube app. And you could go to it and do things. And now there's no more YouTube app. I don't know where it went and why it's gone. I don't know. I am 
very curious. Oh, we're landing at exactly the same time that he went first. And I don't know if he's supposed to go first or if I'm supposed to go first. I never know that. So I always try to stop at a, a four-way stop or two-way stop or something. I always try to stop not exactly when the other guy is stopping. I let the other guy go first. It's got to be obvious to me which one stops first. So if it looks like we're going to stop at exactly the same time, I slow down and I don't stop. I'm still rolling when they're stopped. So that they have to go first and then I know it and he knows it. <sighs> I like talking to you. There's a lot of you that talk to me for a while and then stop talking. I mean life probably. Real RL comes along. I miss you. I miss you. Dina, I miss you. You used to talk to me every day. Every video you would talk to me. I see you talking to other people when I check out other videos. But you're not talking to me anymore. Anyway, there's a lot of people. Joanne. Luke, Cindy Lou, but you never know. People have to have real life because you can't do one thing. You can get really involved in one thing for a while, but then you kind of got to go into other stuff because other stuff becomes like I really emphasize on something for a while. Sometimes I'll think, wow, I want to know all the birds. I want to know. And so I'll go out there and I'll watch all the birds and I use my binoculars or now my camera and I'll learn all the names of the birds and I'll learn their habits and where they live and the kind of birdhouses that they need and how big the holes should be and make lots of birdhouses for them and I'll learn their songs and then I'll start getting interested in something like insects and I'll look at all the insects and the caterpillars and the moths and the butterflies and the spiders and I'll try and learn their names the jumping spider and all the other ones and I'll do that for a while, and then I get kind of tired of that. Or I, you know, something else comes along, and I'll think, oh, wow, I want to know about that. And so I learn about that for a while. And such is life. I go from one thing to the next, and my videos reflect that. I guess you've noticed that, eh? If you see my videos in clusters, you'll see that at some points, I'm making baskets all the time. And then I'm making soap all the time. And then I'm making pottery all the time, or I'm going for millions of walks in the woods, or I'm making labyrinths everywhere, or I'm who knows what. And so my videos are woodworking, you know, I make all those little boxes with the drawers in them, and what are they called? Band boxes, band saw boxes, I love them. Or I'll paint. Whatever it is, I do it in mass. When I used to be married to a farmer in southern Ontario, that was in the battle days. Well, I used to can. I used to have a huge garden. I would grow everything I could possibly think of growing. We'd grow a lot of it and then I would preserve it. I went can and can and can and can and can. I had 360 jars and I also had two freezers and I would bottle up the food and I would freeze the fill it all up and then we would eat it all for a year. I did so much stuff like that in mass. That's what I did. Once upon a time, there was a farmer friend of ours, Brenda. Hi Brenda, I hope you're there. And they have cows. And in Ontario you have quota. You're only allowed to produce and sell to the marketing board, milk marketing board, so much milk in a year. And if you have already sold that much, and then you continue to fill your tank with your milk that you don't have quota for, they'll take it away, but they'll charge you to take it. So people don't send it, they dump it, it goes down the drain, or they give it away. You're not allowed to sell it. There is no milk allowed to be sold at farm stands, you know, along the side of the road. All these production rules. Anyway, so they gave me 25 gallons of milk a day for about two weeks until their quota started up again. So that was five gallon pails of milk. Well, they needed these pails back so they could give me more milk. So I would bring it home and I would 
set it in my freezer, which happened to be empty at that time because in August that was before the big harvest, so it was pretty empty. So I put these five gallon buckets of milk in my freezer and in the morning the cream had risen to the top and there'd be about that much cream on the top of each bucket. So I would take off all the cream, I would ladle it out, and then I would make butter. I would put it in my blender and I would make butter. Butter, 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 butter. I had pounds and pounds of butter. Then I thought about ice cream and so I started saving it and I had about 60 jars, 60 quarts of cream, which then I kept in the freezer, it stayed frozen, and I made ice cream for a long time. Anyway, that's the sort of life I live, where my mind will get really into something and I'll do it a whole lot. Maybe right now what I'm doing a whole lot of is going to the temple. I go to the temple every week. And I do YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for four years, videoing my life and uploading it. Videoing everything. That's a lot of videoing. People are kind of well, what do you do with all these videos? Like, are you, um, are you uploading them? Um, no, they, they think, what do you video? Well, how do you have 12,000 videos? What do you video? Well, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever I see that's interesting to me. Everything I do. Everything I think. Everywhere I go. Everybody I know. It's like my eyes. It's like you're in my head, you're in my brain. But then sometimes I think about the idea of having everything about me out there on the internet that anybody in the world can access. And usually I have great faith in all the world and I think everybody is safe. And so, of course, everything is fine to have it all out there. <clears throat> but the odd time I come in contact with a creep, I think, what am I doing? But I have faith again. So there you go, that is the long and the short of it. That is the day through my eyes, coming to you from the situation room in my car. We will see you in a minute. Goodbye. Good morning, it's Nancy today. You knew that, that's why you came over here, right? Say, oh, let's see what Nancy says today. Well, Nancy, what does Nancy say? I don't know, I have to ask her. Well, <clears throat> today is a new day, and I feel really good today. Strange that I'm saying that because I woke up not feeling good. I woke up feeling like hmm, it was negative 18 and I wanted to go down and show you the stream because you know how it freezes over when it gets really cold. And so negative 18 Celsius is about zero Fahrenheit, I think. Anyway, it's cold. But um, I look out the windows and it's just so pretty. Look at how pretty it is out that window. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, Mao Kitty. Hey, Mao Kitty. Hey there, Mao. Anyway, I was reading on a Facebook thing today. Somebody said um, there was this list of things you could be happy or no about being happy for everything. Look at the look at the woodpecker on the on the post. And there was an upside down bird up there with him too. That's a, a downy woodpecker. It's not as big as the hairy woodpecker. See, my flowers are blooming. Can I show it to you? It's geranium. Oh, look at this one. I'm not partial to anything but red geraniums. I mean, this sort of messes up my, my thing about red geraniums, which I put in, around on my window boxes everywhere in the, in the summer. Okay, so I decided I would be grateful for things, and I wasn't feeling grateful. I was kind of feeling unwell, but I started feeling, I started thinking, oh, I'm so, I'm really grateful for this view. I'm grateful for these birds. I'm grateful for these flowers. And I thought, you know, what if I just spent the entire day being grateful for everything? And I thought about all the, you know, if I went around and I was grateful for every experience that goes with every mug and the opportunity to learn to make every one of those baskets and the opportunity to find those gourds and the opportunity to paint them and the creativity to paint them and all those antlers that Mary brought me and all the baskets that I created out of them those are the ones over on the far side 
on the idea to to fill that one in with fabric and to have the fabric and that fabric exists and that I don't have to weave every bit of fabric that we own and that and that uh, my friend gives me all this pottery clay look at all those birds out there they're having a heyday oh that's right I dumped the whole bag of sunflower seeds over there <laughs> this is a day to put up the um, something for cats um, take this let's go set it up let's hope you stay on because you are having a hard time today yes <laughs> entertainment for cats is that entertainment for cats or what let's just set the camera up have to do it in such a way that we don't get lots of reflections about down here yeah that's pretty good entertainment for cats don't you think how come mouse sitting over there oh my gosh I gotta go and do this bye okay I did it I took the screen off the window and I opened the window but I closed the curtain because it's just too... Yeah, look at all of them. I figured the raccoons were just going to come and eat them all. From the bag and the squirrels. So I might as well put them out where the birds could get them. You can really see them flying around over there, too. And they were out there on the other window earlier. I have the dehumidifier in, in here. Even though it says it's 31, now it's 30. I want these to dry. This is my very badly made stuff. And I also want this stuff to dry. Oh, it is getting a bit better now. Soon I'll be able to lift it up and turn it over. We were having lots of birds out here. The whole yard was covered with birds. Maybe they've gone to the other window now. Now I have to be careful of Mal. You want the camera on, Mel? I have a problem with my camera. The clip that holds it closed. Oops, sorry, kitties. Oh. Yes, I know what you want. But you're not going to get it. No siree. You can just watch. This is entertainment for cats. Look at these leaves, how they've grown that way. Isn't that interesting? Hey, Mal. These are all in desperate need of moisture, but they seem to grow better when they're dry. So now Mal has figured it out. Let's get the, ca Let's get the camera for Mal. But I had a problem with the camera. The, the clip that holds it closed broke. See, this is the, the clip at the top that holds the whole thing closed, broke off. See it? These were the pieces for it. Now, I should be able to recreate one, shouldn't I? <clears throat> I wonder if I could do that with wood. I wonder if I can't really glue it because it's you have to push so hard when you're closing it on there. Well, 
So you can buy a new housing. I may have to just do that. What if I were to tie it shut? Well, good morning. So I have accomplished a few things since I spoke to you last. When was that? A few minutes ago? Well, I took all the clay that was on those that was getting dry and I wedged it all and made clumps of it for so I've got one two three four five so I don't know how many pounds that is this probably weighs a bit so I I have accomplished something and then I use my my stick blender over in that green bucket I have all my dry pieces of clay and I've been stick blending it with water and then making it smooth. I saw that on a video. I thought oh, that's a good idea. And so I slopped that out onto the bats. Cool. When these are dry, I'll be able to do more with this. Look at that. It's cracked. I always have to follow the recipe. Don't be like your Aunt Nancy. No, sorry. Anyway, so I've done that. I wanted to, um, oh. I was going to make some bread. I used the bread maker, but I used my home ground bread. My home ground wheat, I mean. But I guess this, I forgot to turn that on. Hello. So first we put in one cup of water, then we put in a beaten egg, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of honey, three cups of whole wheat flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and a half a teaspoon, or one and a half teaspoons of yeast, in order. So I'll do that. But this is not a cooking video, just in case you were wondering. And yes, that is my little tiny fridge. The reason I have a little tiny fridge is because I don't want to keep leftovers in it. I don't want it to be a place where everything can go green. I'm not in the business of feeding the environment. Look at that snow. Isn't that pretty? So anyway, that's why I have a little fridge. It's not common. common thing is for people to have huge fridges. The bigger the better. But I don't want to have all that stuff to clean. Not me. Not likely. Okay, so we're going to put in egg water, butter, and honey. See, I keep my butter in the cupboard. Anyway, don't need to... Don't need to be like everybody else. Oh, I wanted to say something. There was I was listening to the radio, and they were saying about survivor shows. Survival, or no, reality shows. And on a reality show, you win or you fail. You succeed or you fail. There's no in-between. There's no learning curve. If you fail, you get kicked out. So losing means complete failure and no more tries. Well, if this is reality show, that is not reality. In reality, you have a million tries. You can try over and over and over and over and over and get it right, get it better. I mean, I'll just show you a little example of that. Here are my first mugs. Oh my gosh, look at those birds. Oh my gosh, and I don't have my camera set up over there. Look at them all. There are millions of them. I have to set up my camera so it can be, um, it can be called Something for birds. Uh, entertainment for cats. That's what it is. No camera. No thing in there. Hi, Mao Kitty. There's millions out there. They all just flew away. Anyway, so I have to put this up. Oh, I was going to show you my... About um, success and failure. I gotta put my camera card in. Close it up. I'm gonna take it over here. It's pretty cool. 
cool, isn't it? Okay, let's put the camera here. It's not going to be high enough. Okay. Can put it up on things. tripod out. Put it on the tripod or we'll just see if we can compress these legs a little bit. Still not going to be close enough. Okay, we'll, we'll get a tripod out which will scare them all away. They'll all have the hibbejeebers. Oh, they saw my hand. My hand got too close. Those are some more clays ready to use. Well, so they're gone now, so I guess I'll start recording, and when they come back, perhaps all will be well. I'll close this so I don't scare them away. Oh, but first I was going to tell you. Okay, so you remember my first pots? My first bowls, well, they were pretty, they were pretty rough. I mean, thick and all that. And then I made these containers. And here again, although they were better, they were taller, they are still thick and heavy. But now, these, see these are much better. They're much lighter. And thinner. So I am improving, right? getting much better. And you see, if, if I was on um, some survival show or some um, reality TV show, and the point was, are you um, doing it perfectly or not, the um, See, the birds are not coming back yet. There's a little sparrow up there who's trying to come back. I mean, not sparrow, a little, a few chickadees would like to come in. Okay, so what it's all about far as surviving and um, reality, you know my rugs, my one of my first rugs, this is one of my first rugs. Now that is made with fleece, just fleece that I lined up in rows and wove with. This one 
was done with pieces of fleece, which I lined up and wove with. But now, the kind of weaving that I'm doing has progressed and I have done all sorts of things. I've got these and these, but what I am most proud of is this, which I never ever thought that I could do. I mean, to go from that raw fleece to this, you know, I never, I mean, I remember looking at this sort of stuff that had been woven by people at Mira and thinking, man, would I love to be able to do heritage weaving like that. But I didn't know where I'd learn or how I could do it. I didn't know where you, I didn't know the first thing about it. And now I understand it and it's simple. This is called periwinkle. And this one is finished bird's eye. I keep showing you that one. But I would never have tried this if I had been given a failing mark. If it was survive or fail, you know. If they had just looked at those and decided if I failed or won. You know, reality TV is really not reality at all. I'll show you some other things since I'm now into this really nice mode of telling you how awesome I did. This is M's and O's. Which, if I wash it, it might shrink down and become tight. This is the wool, M's and O's. I have no idea what I want to do with it. But I wove it, you know? I did that. Who would have thought I could do that? And so if people tell you that you'll never do it, or you're a failure, or you're lousy, or that your work is crap, and to give up now, well, don't make a fool of yourself and put yourself out there in public with it, you know, that's not God <laughs> telling them to tell you that. That's not... That's not goodness. Look at this. I'm going to show this to you. Isn't that beautiful? I made that. You know, that's that's one thing about trying and, and doing things. What does that say on there? Kitchen. No, bathroom. The other side of the door says kitchen, I think. Because that used to be the kitchen in there. Yep. <laughs> so you go out of the bathroom and this was the kitchen once upon a time but you see, because I thought well, I can try I removed the cupboards from here the counters and I moved them into the other room and I was left with the hot and cold water down here you see and so Instead of capping off the hot water, I put a bow in it, or an elbow in it, and I put it outside. So now I have running hot water outside. Anyway, you can do whatever you think you can do. And the power of positive thinking and faith are very interconnected. Those who don't believe in God may still believe that you can get what you want by thinking about it, as above, so below, as you have in your head, you can manifest it, or um, as a man thinketh, so is he. And um, so you can succeed at trying things. Maybe you won't like doing it, maybe you won't enjoy it. You see, when I made this, I had to, I had to enjoy the process. Because if the only thing about it that was good was once it was done and I could look at it, well, how long would I actually have sat and looked at that? Oh, what, maybe five minutes? So the object cannot be the finished product because you're spending hundreds of hours doing something for five minutes of enjoyment or two minutes or five seconds. You say, wow, look, you can show it to everybody that you meet. Like I can show it to you. 
So the, it, you have to enjoy the process, and that's what life is. It's all about learning and and making mistakes. What is it, Mrs. Whatever says, makes mistakes get dirty. Bye. Well, hello, it's Nancy today. How are you? Well, I'm having a quiet little time. It's kind of lonely to be on your own. I mean, to be here by myself. But, um, I'm watching, I'm watching episodes of Lois and Clark. You know, my children's generation, they watch Smallville. I think Smallville has been on most of their lives. Whatever happened to Smallville, is it still happening or is it over? But anyway, Lois and Clark, The Adventures of Lois Clark, which is attached, what is it called? The New Adventures of Superman, Lois and Clark. Anyway, it was, um, they were, uh, they were reporters in a, a modern computer thing, office, you know, and, well, you know, here they are. Did you ever see that? Anyway, I, I really like Lois and Clark. I used to watch them. They were on from 1990 to 94. And they've always made me smile. Lois says the silliest things. She turns to leave and she says, And don't let this place fall apart while I'm gone, okay? And um, Perry tells her, Perry, you know, Perry White, the, the boss at the... The, the Daily Planet says, Lois, there will always be another headless corpse. She's so busy. I'm finding out these headless corpses. Um, there will always be. And she says, she says, per oh, Chief or Perry, I think I am, what did she say, strong enough or something to not be distracted by work. <laughs> Whoever wrote this stuff had some really good one-liners. Very good. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing. I usually have been, lately I've been trying to watch Lost, but it wasn't working in my computer, and now I can't figure out where I put my season, my box of second season of Lost. So I'm, and I can't find the first season for Lois and Clark, so I'm watching the second season. It's really, it's really nice. I like watching it. But I feel guilty. I feel like I should go and make dinner. Because people are going to come home and there won't be anything made. But, on the other hand, do I care? Ask me if I care. No. I could make eggs at the last minute. The rest of the stuff is in the car. Which is a long way away. Well... Okay, so there we have it. Um, you heard it here last. You can do this at home. Results may differ. Good morning. It's a new day. Well, I tried to put the cat cam on Mal so he would film. I could film him playing with his um, thing. What is it called? Uh... supposed to flop around like a mouse when he tosses it and it's filled with catnip anyway he wasn't interested maybe he will get interested again anyway good exercise for me eh? I need something like that <laughs> get me some exercise oh it's snowing again look at that good morning well today is a mirror day so I'm gonna go over and um, take my weaving with me and do some hemming. I should have hemmed it when it was on the loom because that's the way you do it. But you see this lovely thing. It needs a hem so that I can cut it off between the colors. And so I I hemmed it yesterday. I, I did the I tied each of the clusters I need to do it on the other side, tying it with the, um, well I have to, I don't really know how to do this, so I thought maybe if I went over there they would help me. 
There's so many knowledgeable people over there. And then I can hem this side of it. This, I, I, I made this with um, one, two, three, four, five. I had a, a spool of yarn or thread that was five threads together. And so as I unrolled it off the thread, five came out, which was awesome because it made this pretty design. It was also very fast to work compared to this, which was single threads. You can see how much, much longer, you know, to do that much with single threads versus to do that much with a five times with five threads at once. So then when I'm tying it, I'm only going through the last, the last stitching of the five threads. But every time I bring my needle through, I'm trying to split the warp thread and go through the warp thread so that it's not just holding on that last row of weaving. Anyway, so that's one thing I wanted to do at Mira today. I wanted to take that over and learn more about how to do it. Yeah, I've got it here. I've, I, I went from there to there, and then I went from there to there. And I'll see what I can do on the other end of it. Perhaps I can do the same thing. So I'll take some more yarn with me when I go. I love having this opportunity to go over there. I don't take advantage of it like I should. You know, I really, I really don't milk it for all it's worth. There's so much more I could be getting out of it than I do. So I'll take this with me. And I'll go there. And we're also working on our our hats that we started last week. Our um, what, what are they called? Felted hats. So I'll work on my hat. Let me show you that. And take this out to the other room to remember that it's coming with me. I have other things that need to be done too. This one here is also not hemmed. I need to get this ready for. This is Prussian diaper. Actually, most of them are not hemmed. Of a truth, of a truth. I have other ones I should take too. It's not as easy to hem it once it's off the loom. This is my um, periwinkle. See, this can be sewn on the machine. But maybe I could hem this one too. Maybe I'm just biting off more than I can chew. It's not like I'm going to be there all day long. Well, I will be there a long time. And then, um, this is my hat. I was felting last week. It's needle felting this time. And this is to where I like how it's big enough that my curler things are, or whatever they're called, they're in it. So it needs much more work. But this is for wearing under my coat. Uh oh, now I made a mess on my couch. Hey now, kitty. Okay, so. 
have something fun to do today. So I'll take this, and I'll take these, and I'll wear my boots, and I'll take my camera. Okay, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing today. I'm doing today. I think this is a good bath. Good morning. It's snowing today. Isn't it pretty? Let's go check out the stream. It's minus 8 Celsius. I don't know what that is. This is on my property in Ontario, Canada. People have asked me if I wish I could move to the States or down south, and I'm very content right here. I do love it. Hi, I'm out for a walk. Look at this beautiful stream. Cross over and see the other side of it. My other camera has gone to sleep. Oh, look at the, the tracks along there. Something's been walking over. Can you see that? There's this mound of snow on top of the water, and there's tracks on it. You can see them under that bush. to go to the teepee. Why? Because we can. I love it in there. I love having a hammock to lie in that doesn't have snow in it. It's not wet. And it's out here when I'm about 
tired from my walking. Beautiful day. Had to come up before the clouds come over. See that tree that's down over there? It's on the other side of the stream. It's like some good trees. Perhaps I could fix up my teepee. Low battery. Hi, here we are. Wonder if we can go over there a little bit and see this. The snow is not too deep. There's my bridge, every which way bridge. And there's all those new felled trees. I wonder where the beaver's house is. how flooded it is. Is there ice under here? Yeah, it's ice under there. So when the snow goes, this will all be underwater. And that will be Pole Island over there, where I shall sit. If I'm here, hopefully I'll be here. See ya. That is a bald eagle. It's got a white tail and a white head. It's flying over there. Can you see its white tail flash? Wow, a bald eagle at my hammock. See the white? Too bad my other camera's out of power. Never seen a bald eagle over here before. It is flying. Right down in there, in the distance, just above the point of this tree. I'm 
imagine that? Wow, a bald eagle. White head and white tail. I've seen the osprey with the white heads. Look at that. He's behind, he's right behind here. He's circling. He's going up on the thermals, I guess. Just at the cross of the trees. He's over there a little bit. No, I don't see him. Oh yeah, he's down there a little further. Now he's over there. Now he's over there. Now he's over here. Oh, he's too far. Oh dear, I wonder if he'll come back. That was amazing. A bald eagle, wow. I saw one about 20 minutes away once. He was along a river. You can see him again. He's he is. Where'd he go now? Halfway down here. Over to here. Climbing upward a bit. Definitely getting farther away. Oh, I see him again. If I had had my camera on when he was right here, he went right overhead, right over me. And my zoomy camera could have gotten him. But alas. Good morning, it's Nancy today. How are you today? Well, Willem and I are on our way to Palmyra to the temple. We work in the temple this weekend. If you're in the area and want to attend the Palmyra temple, we might see you. Well, we definitely see you Friday night and all day Saturday. Um, what have I got to tell you? Hmm, we went to see Elida perform last night. It was awesome. She has released a few of her new songs. One is on Reverberation, which is called If We Had No Money. It was great. It was great to hear that. And Deception is hers. And I can't remember the other ones. Anyway, I I just uploaded the ones I, the videos I made for my eye pod last night, last evening, but I made um, other videos on my my regular camera on the tripod so I could zoom in a bit, but the lighting was really poor, and, um, well, it was poor for my camera. But the other camera, the um, Handycam, that would have, that would have done it. That one really seems to, to pick up the lighting even if it's dim, it can really make it bright. But the Panasonic 70X Optical Zoom S265 or something like that, that one, um, it'll tell me it's too dark and it won't even film anything. So I like it when it, the other camera helps me up. And so I have to remember that when I tape, when I go to watch her in perform, that I can use the other camera. Anyway, so enjoy her singing. It's really lovely. I am biased. I'm her mother. But I, I have never heard anybody who sings like her. It's just not, it's not the same. And so just like other people have um, started out singing in their garages or apartments or a pub, she will rock the world. She will. I know that. So share her music. There you go, that's my plug for my daughter. Anyway, so it's, uh, it's not too chilly. What's the temperature, Willem? Uh, I don't know. Can't see it. Can't see it. Too bright. Oh, well, it's, there's temperature outside. There is a temperature outside, <laughs> yes. But it doesn't have a fever. It no, is near freezing. Sure. It's just below freezing. It might do some melting while we're gone, actually. Hard to say. And of course we're going to go by Watertown and Syracuse, which are on the east side of Lake Ontario, which means lake effect, snow squalls from the lake. But 
I don't know. I didn't even look at my weather thing today to see what is happening over there. Well, uh, my weather thing is continuously being wrong, so I guess it's not that important to check it. Okay, well, I hope everyone has an awesome weekend, and I'll talk to you later, and I, we won't be able to stop in, Jen. I'd really love to stop in, but we have to get back. So, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.